Welcome to Yoga at Crozet Arts. I'm Scott Neiser. Today we're going to do some forward bends in this class. So get whatever you may need to have available. If you definitely like to have a strap or a belt, whatever you're using. I'm starting on some blankets, but I'm going to move them. And I'm trying not to use too many props um, in case you don't have stuff at home. But let's get started. We're going to do Gomukhasana arms and with some modified legs. So we're gonna start with the right leg on top. And you're separating your feet so your sit bones can sit onto something, whether that's the floor, the edge of some blankets, a bolster, a block, anything that you might have. If you're using the strap, the strap would go over your left shoulder right now, because right leg on top, we're gonna to do left arm high first. Bend it down, you're grabbing the top of your strap, keeping this elbow nice and high, opening up that left armpit, right arm around, grabbing your fingertips. That's it. I'm going to bring that right shoulder out. Notice if your breathing changes just because you put your arms in such a position. Release the clasp, letting your arms float down, and we're going to bring the body forward. Keep your sit bones on whatever they're on, whether that's the floor or the blanket. Extend the torso forward. And then walking the hands over to the right. And through the center, and we'll walk the hands over to the left. And coming back up, let's just straighten the legs. So sitting back onto your sit bones, straighten the legs, and we're gonna reverse the whole thing. So now the left leg will be on top. And right arm goes up first, bending it down. If you wanna hold that elbow and really lift and open that right side, left arm swings in clasping the fingertips or climbing up your strap, your belt. A stick works well, a wooden spoon. And the arms float down and bringing the body forward. This is quite an intense hip stretch if you haven't been doing a whole lot of yoga or if you've been doing other things biking and walking you're probably feeling this a lot more than usual in your hips and walk the fingers over to the left and back through center and then over to the right And through center and we will come up and again just straighten the legs out it should feel nice just to have them straight give your knees a little thank you for all that bending and we're gonna do a lunge series so you're gonna come up on all fours if this really hurts your knees feel free to put a blanket down but only under your knees because it'll get in the way of your hands you definitely want to have your hands on the sticky mat so coming up to all fours First, we will bring the um, right leg forward, but we're gonna start from downward facing dog. So let's turn the toes and press the sit bones high up towards the ceiling, descend the heels towards the mat, open up behind the knees, spreading the fingers, lengthening the torso. And if you'd like to bring a little uh, swing to the leg, sometimes when I practice, I like to just lift the leg, swing it forward. So we have the right foot forward and you're going to place the left hand next to it and open up to the right. So for me that'll be to the back wall. And bringing the hand back down. Let's bring both hands over to the left of the right foot and you can either stay here 
If it's too much, you can come down on your knee or you could bring your forearms, elbows towards the mat. So you could be here. If you wanna make it more intense, keep that leg straight. And coming back up, we're gonna bring the knee down to the mat. Coming up, swing the arms up, nice lift of the chest. Now press both hips back the same as you come back. And now you're gonna do a forward bend over that right leg. If this is too much for you, you may have two blocks here or something that you can hold on to. But notice that you're where your hips are. So you want them somewhat in line with each other. And it's a nice hamstring stretch under that right leg. So coming forward any amount that you that you can. All right, come back to just a bent knee and we'll go back to downward facing dog between sides. Lifting the left leg, if you want to do a, a swing with it, foot comes in, right hand beside your left foot, lifting the left arm full body twist, looking up at the ceiling if you're able, and back down, both hands over to the right of that foot, you can either stay here, you can put the forearms towards the mat, and you could always bend that knee if needed. Really opening up these hip flexors coming back up. Now we're going to put the right knee down, coming up, and inhale, swinging the arms up, nice lift of the chest, a little bit of a back bend there. And pressing both hips back evenly, coming up, and now extending over. Again, using props here if you need them. Warming up these hamstrings. All right, bending the knee back to downward facing dog. Right foot floats up, swings in, and this time we are gonna leave the, the knee off the ground in the back. Again, a twist. This time the elbow is gonna go over the knee. So my first one will be facing the back. Palms are clasped, left elbow over knee. Press into the palms to rotate the torso. Untwist, bringing the hands to the mat. We're gonna let that back knee come down. We're gonna come up again. And this time go on to the top of your back foot, so no bent toes. And this is gonna be a balancing position. So arms go out to the side and you're gonna walk the right foot so that that right heel is in line with the left knee. Might be helpful to stare at something. Definitely wanna use the core muscles to help with your balance. Don't hold your breath though. And walk the foot back. And other side, right foot back, downward facing dog. Left foot floats up, swinging forward. Come up. Right elbow over left knee, palms together, rotate the torso. Don't let that right hip collapse down. A little bit of a lift, right thigh. Hands to the mat, right knee down. Again, going on the top of this back foot and don't let it come over here to counter your balance. You want it out here, that's what's gonna be the thing to help with our balance and build muscle strength stability and walking the foot back out we'll do
do one more downward facing dog. And then come down to your mat. Your feet will go together, separate your knees almost as wide as your mat so that you can sink the hips back, sink the sit bones down onto your heels for child's pose. So arms extended, keep your elbows straight. So if your arms are on the floor, it probably means your elbows aren't straight. So straight elbows, forehead to the mat. Lengthen the back of the neck. Taking a few deep, thorough breaths here. And walk the body up, and we are going to move to Supta Padangustasana. You could use a, a strap if you just know you like a strap. But there are times where in class we just say, okay, let's try it without a strap. Because even though we want the knee straight when we have the leg up in this position, if your knee is bent slightly, you're probably still getting quite a nice hamstring stretch. So I encourage you to try it, you know, without the strap or don't stress about it if you don't have a strap. So we'll start with the left leg. And just squeeze that left knee in. And you're going to grab the big toe, but you're using your index finger and your middle finger, and it goes between your big toe and your second toe. So you want a little bit of tension between the toe, and then you'll extend it up. So if your knee is slightly bent, that is okay. If you're still feeling your hamstring stretching, otherwise use your strap. Strap goes over the ball of the foot. So you can bring this right hand down onto that right thigh, and let's bring the right heel over a little bit today, almost to the edge of your mat. Gives you a little bit more space in the hips, especially once again, if you haven't been practicing this a lot. Once you've extended it up, then your work is bringing that leg closer to your torso. Without letting this right hip roll up at all, you're gonna bring the left leg over to the side. So a lot, of, a lot of times I like to turn it out first. So the whole leg turns out. If you can straighten this knee, that's what we're aiming for. And then the leg comes out to the side. But this does not roll up. Once it's out to the side, then the leg comes up further towards your ear. That's where you're aiming for. Right toes stay pointed towards the ceiling. Right hip right where it was. and bring that leg back up. And we're gonna do a rolling twist, so I'm gonna switch arms. So even if I had the strap, I'd be switching arms that I'm holding it with. And we're gonna let that leg roll all the way to the ground onto the right side. So the foot is on the ground. Then the left arm is gonna come up, sweeping as if the nails are brushing along the ceiling until that arm comes all the way back on the floor. And don't worry about if the shoulder doesn't, that's where you're working on. That's where you're getting the big stretch. But I want the foot on the ground over here. And then come back up. And we'll squeeze that knee in and lengthen it down next to the right foot. And you can feel how different they feel. I'm going to do the right side. So we'll pull the right knee in. Just give it a squeeze. Two fingers between the toes. Extending the foot up. And let's take the bottom leg, which is the left leg this time, and scooch that heel closer to the edge of the mat. Toes still pointed towards the ceiling and you want this hip, hip to be nice and stable, whether the leg is going up or to the side, and firm. I'm still working that left leg. Kneecap is lifted, thighs engaged, foot is flexed, toes pointed towards the ceiling. And in the meantime, I'm getting a wonderful stretch on my back of my right leg. Now let's turn that leg out. So rotate it from the socket. 
down in the hip. And then bring it to the side. This arm is going to be on this leg because I don't want this hip to come up at all. Helps to move slowly because if I just throw the leg out, you tend to flop over. So you want to have control. It may use uh, more abdominals than you're thinking just to hold the leg, but a lot going on. Hamstring stretch on the right. bringing the leg back up to center. I'm going to bring this bottom leg in just a little bit as I switch my clasp. So this time I am clasping the outside of the, the toe because I want to roll all the way until the leg is down and then this arm sweeping up, reaching up high as you come all the way behind and reach behind you. knee and release it down. All right, from here bend both knees and cross your right ankle over your left knee and without using your hands, without pulling it or holding the thigh, they can actually just be out to the side. You're going to lift the left foot off the ground, so use your abdominals, lift that leg. You're going to pull that knee as close as you can into your chest but without using your hands, again, and the right knee is staying out to the side. So pressing that right knee to the side, left knee towards my chest. And bringing the left foot back to the mat, I'm gonna grab the outside of the right foot for half happy baby. Right knee is gonna go down next to my torso. Sole of the foot's facing the ceiling. Then I'm gonna extend, straightening the left leg. So press that heel down. And we are in half, happy baby. And just remember that knee is not pressing into your chest. It is going next to you. And if you can grab outside of the foot, I know that can be difficult. Again, you could be using a strap for this. and straighten that leg. All right, again, bend both knees, place the feet on the mat, left ankle over right knee, not using the hands, pulling the right knee closer to the chest, keep the left knee out. I'm actually pressing my left knee out as the right knee is pressing closer to my chest. back to the floor, reaching around, grabbing outside the left foot, pressing the left knee next to the torso, extend the right leg straight. leg down next to the other one and just enjoy the benefits of the pose for a moment. Done a lot of work in the hamstrings and the hips, a little twist. Nice to just feel that. And I'm gonna roll over and take a peek at what was next on my list. All right. All right, we're gonna stand up and do a forward bend. Prasarita, 
So just come onto the middle of your mat and step or jump your feet nice and wide. Hands to your hips. Let's lengthen the tailbone as the chest lifts up, lift the side ribs up. I like to bring my thumbs on the lower back to lengthen that tailbone as the chest lifts up. Nice big inhale. Exhale, hinging forward. Prasarita Padantanasana. You can bring the hands underneath the shoulders. If you need blocks, you would have blocks right now under your hands. Lengthen the torso. Back of the neck stays long. The front side of my body is lengthening. So from the pubic bone all the way through to the sternum is still lengthening forward. And then you exhale, walking the hands back. Fingers stay pointed forward. And use the sticky mat. You can use the sticky mat to pull the torso. And hopefully your head will get somewhere near the ground. You could have a, a block or a blanket there. Otherwise it can hang, it's fine. Don't let the shoulders collapse. Lift the head, walking the hands back out underneath the shoulders, firm on the legs, hands to the hips, lift the head, inhale and come up and he'll tell your legs back in. All right, we're gonna do a twist. I'm gonna put a blanket down just for my back knee. Um, I think I should show you to the side. So, from all fours, bring your right foot and bring it as wide as your mat. It can be turned out a little bit. And then the left knee is gonna come a little bit towards the left side of the mat. And we're gonna reach around. You know what, I'm gonna do the other side. Let's switch just to show you the first time. So left foot forward, and then the right knee is wide. Because I'm gonna grip my right hand on the mat. I'm gonna reach around this direction to bend and grab. So really big quad stretch, nice twist. Breathe into that. And release. Now we'll do the other side. So right foot is on the right edge of the mat. Left knee is wide. Left hand, reach around with the right to grab those toes. Release. And we're going to come to sitting for a couple of seated forward bends. So if you'd like to have a blanket underneath your sit bones for Janyushirshasana or uh, any other forward bends, you're welcome to have a little bit of a blanket here. And of course, you can use your strap if you need it. Um, I'm going to face the front this time. So we'll start in Dandasana or Stack Pose. So feet are flexed, toes are pointed towards the ceiling. If you want to pull the flesh from your sit bones, nice and grounded, opening up behind the knees. Lifting up, lift the side ribs up as you're sitting. We're going to bend the right knee and pull that right foot into the inner left thigh. If you're using the strap, it would go over the ball of your foot. Otherwise, you're grabbing the sides of your foot. So when you first come over, you're not bending the back. You're not rounding or grabbing the sides of the foot and extension, the whole front side of the body, again, from the pubic bone up through the sternum, collarbones spreading as much as possible to lengthen the front side of the body. And then as you start to come down, lower back rounds first, let the belly soften and even Press on the belly, keep it nice and soft as you round. And if you're down far enough, the head does start to come down, hence the name head to knee pose. Elbows come out to the side.
the head, inhale and come up. And I'm just gonna to turn to the side for the other side. So again from Dandasana, gonna bend the left knee, pull the sole of the left foot into the right inner thigh. Let that knee just come out to the side. And hinging forward enough to either grab the sides of your foot or using the strap. Again, front body extension. And rounding down. So elbows bend. Belly softens. head and inhale and Hugo's decided he can come join us for yoga again and now we're gonna do Trianga Mukai Kapada Paschimottanasana so we'll do the right leg turned in first so bending the right leg I like to describe it as half Virasana which it is this leg is in Virasana this leg is in Dandasana so sometimes you can get a little lopsided if this, um, you don't have the flexibility in the hips here. So you could sit up on something, but you wanna have your sit bones fairly even. Again, using the strap if needed, same length here. Squeeze the knees together, coming forward, grabbing the sides of the ball of the foot. And rounding down. come up. It's always nice to throw in a little Kramchasana while we're here. If you bend that left leg, holding the ball of the foot, leaning back and straightening that leg. Bend the knee, come down and we'll do the other side. I'll just turn to the side so you can see it from a different angle. So this time right leg is straight and the left leg is in a half Virasana pose. Knees together. Coming forward to grab the sides of the ball of the foot or using your strap. Front body lengthened. And rounding down. Again, belly soft. to come up and if you want to take it to our crown jasana bending that right knee clasping the sides of the foot and straightening the leg lift the chest and bring that leg as close to you as possible and let's bring that down and we'll end today's class with uh, Paschimottanasana so both legs now coming forward Let's inhale the arms up, lift, and exhale, hinging forward, reaching beyond your feet, grabbing anywhere that you can. So shins, ankles, feet. take some time to do Shavasana or if you would prefer to end with the meditation today I'm going to play my bowl 
and you can decide how you would like to end, but definitely take a moment. Um, but thank you for joining me for some forward bends today, and I will play you out with my bowl, and we'll do another class. Namaste. Mark. Yes. You're snoring in oh, my video. Sorry. Uh-huh.